Yo, what's going on, guys? Gonna be showing the Belveth build that has taken over the Belveth meta, and that is to rush down a big, fat, juicy Stride Breaker. This item has been buffed twice within recent history. A while back, it got 10 more attack damage, and this patch, it got more health. So Stride Breaker, pretty dang strong. In the Salon, it helps you land your knockup. It also holds inside of your E, and your E is a huge source of damage since it is an execute. We're gonna go ahead and ward his jungle. Belveth can do it pretty safely since we have dashes. We can double dash away. But uh, yeah, if people invade you, you have to get down some vision. So anyways, we're going to be going for a Stride Breaker into Titanic. This sets you up to be pretty tanky and still have great damage output. Belveth gets lots of attack speed from her passive to where we get really, really good value out of the Titanic on hit. Plus staying alive to be able to go inside, get ours, get loads of health, get your Rift Crawled. So important for team fights in the same way it is for Viego, just staying alive. For our runes, we have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Free Boots, Cosmic, Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. The choice between Conqueror and Lethal Tempo is highly contested between Belveth players. It ultimately does come down to personal preference because the win rates on Conqueror and Lethal Tempo are extremely similar. With that being said, on this specific build, since it does have a solid amount of on hit in it, you'll be a little bit better off with Lethal Tempo. If you don't plan on building any on hit on Belveth, then uh, generally conquer is going to be your best bet. We go ahead and auto an E. We damage reduction his auto, and we finish him off. Very nice. Your E does more damage the lower on health things are. So typically you want to smite then use it when you're farming out your camps. And we heal for a chunk of that damage as well. So auto auto into Q. I was going to three camp clear into reset. I'm not quite sure where Jarvan went though now. It might just be full clearing, it's hard to say. I like a three camp clear and a gank oftentimes because you can still start wrapped so easily. I'll go ahead and reset, pick up a long sword and be in a good spot. He's either doing a full clear or he's on my blue right now. And we wouldn't really know because my bot lane didn't lay a word there for it. But we'll find out here in a second. Belveth's level 3 and level 4, not a huge difference. She mainly just needs gold to scale, and she needs Rift Coral from her R. So level 6 with Rift Coral is probably her biggest power spike. Cool, my stuff's up. Beautiful. We go bot here. We have Long Sword. Might be able to do something. Go ahead and use our Qs. We're completely behind him. When he goes into auto, we'll throw out a W. Now we don't actually have our Q though, so we're going to go ahead and damage reduck. We're going to Q away. I'll let Ezreal finish that kill. Alright, I don't know if he's going to finish it. I'll just take it. I don't trust him. Auto into Q. Auto into Q. Nice. We did end up getting both kills. Something that could be considered a mistake in that gank is me using my Qs pretty early to get behind them. Made it to where once they flashed away, it was challenging for me to keep up. With that being said, the longer the game, the more points you get into your Q and the more attack speed you get from your passive by killing things, your Q gets on a way shorter cooldown. It worked out pretty well. If you are up against Belveth, you never really want to turn to kill her unless you have a huge amount of true damage like a Cho'Gath or an Olaf. Because what's going to end up happening is Belveth damage reduction on E is 70%. They can't CC you out of the damage reduction part. They can only stop your damage output and healing. So even if they knock me up, knock me back, suppress me, I'm still getting the entirety of the damage reduction and they're wasting their time. I went to Raptors because I didn't want Jarvan to take my top side since he saw me bot side. Auto, auto into Q, auto, Q, auto, Q. Could have used our E, but the whole camp died pretty quick. Could go mid. Yeah, we'll try that. I think Yasuo just warded though. I have a decent item advantage on Jarvan. Although six is important, if you're pretty confident the gank's gonna be a kill. And I, I'm not giving up any of my jungle to Jarvan to do this either. Get with the W, auto Q. Eh, pretty weak follow-up from Akali, but kind of is what it is if we come up behind the Yasuo there. Potential gank on their bot side here. We'll pop that, not into their bot lane because we don't want them to see. Draven, no boots. We need to fight this. All right, we're gonna wait till he autos and then we W. He ended up juking that, that was a good juke. Auto into Q, we drop the E, auto into Q. Beautiful. Mm. 
Good knock up by the blitz crank. I thought his knock up. I thought that was like all kind of on cool down there. So overplay on my part. Ended up having his hook and then knock up and I'm a goner. Was not paying close enough attention to that. We need to go get our blue. Got a pretty big gold advantage. We could definitely coast AFK farm into six and then just show up on objectives for Rift Herald. I'm pretty under farmed. Thank goodness for catch up XP. Kind of the meta right now is to over gank if the ganks are panning out. And you'll always catch up XP just by farming a few camps. They'll have to nerf it eventually. They don't want to though because jungle and lower elos is not a super desirable role since it gets flamed so much and people have uh, trouble telling what is likely to be a successful gank and what's just a waste of time. So the Riot has made jungle a very forgiving role to where even if you're not doing it properly and you're making lots of mistakes, you're only gonna be so far behind in XP against the enemy jungler. That's why Jarvan's the strongest jungler in the game right now. He can spam gank once he's three or even level two and not really fall behind in XP. Or he can just straight up full clear because his items are broken right now. Auto in the queue, auto in the queue. Soaking a little bit of XP over the wall. All right, we'll get this. I wanna make sure Jarvan's not over here. Check this bush real quick. Cool. With our sweeper. And very nice. Auto on the W, drop the E, and we're chilling. We should keep ganking bot. Blitz Raven are playing overly aggressive. Plus, if Jarvan didn't come bot late on that gank, I think we kill Blitz. The main thing is he did have boots and we didn't. That's how he was kind of able to get away. Even though he was being slowed by Yumi and whatnot. My top laner is pretty far away. I don't want to wait for this. I don't have a camp to farm while I wait. So, yeah, I'd rather not. Ganking York's kind of tricky once he makes it to this stage of the game. These are Q's out of base. Jarvan only has Iron Spike Whip. He's not tanky at all. He's only level 5. Yeah, good luck ganking Akali. Whoa, she went back in. But why? Oh, they already know I'm here. That sucks. Oh, they're messed up. They're about to make a big mess up. Ezreal really should have baited that. That was a huge mistake in my opinion. Huge mistake in my opinion. He could have just played that like a monkey. Get hooked and then we kill everybody. I'm almost six if I would have taken a camp. Get with the knock up, Q into it. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, and the E. Couldn't quite get it. Ooh, nice. I get some Rift Cold here in a second. Got a Q away. Jarvan does not have boots, so I think I do get away here. All right, I didn't get a chance to pick up the Blitz Rift Coral. I didn't want to die on any turrets part of it. Farm it up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We want to play around Herald. I'll reset when I can afford Stride Break, if possible. So if I can Overlinger bot, that'd be great. If Draven backs, Blitz is going to roam mid. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get to Linger. Blitz is gonna go mid, Draven already based. Yeah, they oh, what do you know, support meta. There he is. He's just waiting. Auto and W, please, Akali, don't. I'm so low on health. Q into E. Nice, you gotta kill 1v2, pretty balanced. Time for me to reset. Well, we want to fight on Herald with as many items as possible. Regardless of how many champions you consume and dragons you consume, even if you consume all five enemy champions and dragon at once, if your gas tank is only at 60, you're going to have a maximum of 60 seconds of empowerment from your R. More health, more movement speed out of combat, more attack range, and uh, more auto attack range, and more 
attack speed. Plus, you can queue over walls. You're only going to get that for 60 seconds. You have to increase the gas tank through Herald or Baron, and it'll make your gas tank 180 seconds, which is three minutes to where you can typically, as long as you're not dying, maintain that gas tank for the rest of the game. I think Blitzer is back, so this is a good time. Other than my top laner backing right as I went for this, this is actually decent timing in my opinion. Auto, auto in the queue, auto, auto. He's tanking the Herald right now. He's taking a lot of damage too. Hmm. This is a tricky situation. We'll just queue away, waste this guy's time. We want to keep him away from the Akali there, so we're still providing value. Drop the E, go inside. Got a spam Q to get away from this. Oh, look at that. Got to love Rift Crawl, baby. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Love to see it. I wonder if I can take Harold with this low health. Let's find out. Just got to dodge the big hits. The big hits is where it, it does its damage. Like, as long as we're able to dodge those. That, that can't see into the pit, by the way. They don't know unless this is warded. Oh, I almost got hit by it. I'm going to smite it. Just trying to steal my dang thing. I'll go inside, increase my gas tank, and we're chilling. Sitting pretty, baby. Ideally, you use stride break at the start of your combo to land knockups and to maximize your E. That is a good way to use it. It's a big slow, and you don't have to stand still to use it. You can use it mid-dash or... Um, yeah, mid dash is the main thing. So for example, show you my cues up forward and cue stride break instantly. No, no real delay. Buttery smooth. Auto in the queue. Kind of don't want to burn my E. Yumi's just dead. Not much I could have done there. Blitz is kind of low though, so I kind of think this will work. They also tornado down. They're tanking. We Q in, stride break, W E. Yeah, that was a huge mistake from them. And now our gas tank is full refilled. Easy peasy. The game's over off that. Seriously. You can't let Belveth get Rift Herald. If you let Belveth get Rift Herald, even if her team's not doing well. Which my team did fine this game, but if, even if her team's not doing well, Belveth with Rift Herald is arguably the best jungler in the game, or at least top three best junglers in the game right now. Auto in the queue. Always, always. Max your E seconds. Your W per level just doesn't get enough. Well, this is actually a pretty close call. I can see the argument for W max second or E max second. More damage. Well, yeah, it's actually got to be W max. I would say so because the cooldown is more substantial. Well, it's not really the cooldown. I guess it's the damage and the slow duration. Your E doesn't get a larger damage reduction compared to slow duration. So this is more damage, lower cooldown, bigger slow. And this is basically just more damage, lower cooldown. You're only really gonna get to use your E once per fight anyways, because the cooldown's so long. Your W, it's gonna get on a low enough cooldown for us to use it more than once. It's less than half the cooldown of our E when maxed out, compared to our maxed out E. I need to go consume stuff. I'm down to 77 seconds, my gas tank. Don't wanna let that go dry. All right, here I am. <laughs> oh, there goes a collie. B -b 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 balanced. Throughout the knockup, I'll use E to get the assist. Quick instant damage. It's going to focus champions inside, and it's going to focus the lowest champion. Give him the stride break. Miss everything. Whoa, Mord flashed for that. Hmm. All right, whatever. 
Still refilling our gas tank. Go with the stride break W, auto Q into E. All right, we need to get out of that. Let's get some health back. And then whenever anything dies around you, like your minions, enemy minions, we get these little guys. Help you take turrets, they tank shots as well. Q and Tomb, give stride break W, Q and Tomb, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. Didn't get a good chance to use my E there. Go to Q, stride break W, Q, E. Even if he focuses me here, he shouldn't be able to pinch. Fill up the gas tank. Throw out the W, stride break. Thing is, I'm on cooldown, so it's hard for me to do a whole lot there. Plus, Yasuo has about as much gold spent as me in this moment. Only so much I can do with that positioning around the turret. Is our Q to get to this guy? Auto on the Q, auto strike break W and the E. Oh, I don't have E, never mind. <laughs> well, if I had E, I would have used it once I got my knock up after the stride break. I just kind of need to spend my gold here. Did I never lay my Herald? I don't think I laid my Herald. Feels bad. Let's go ahead and get the stride. This is full build, baby. At this point, typically, you're going to look for Death's Dance. If they're physical heavy, if they're AP heavy, you're going to go Wit's End. This build is all about staying alive while still doing great damage, and that's exactly what we have. Because if you die early, you don't get a chance to get your... Uh, Big R's off. If you're dying, you're also losing your Rift Coral and your enlarged gas tank as well. So Belveth really is one of the worst. Well, she, she's one of the weaker champs in the game if she's not getting Herald to increase gas tank Herald or Barons. Big fight over here. Q and Stride Break W, Auto E. We get that titanic AoE damage, auto into Q. Beautiful. Landing knockups isn't that hard if you can slow them with stride break first. Even if they try to juke, they can't move fast enough to get out of the way of it. <laughs> Look how many void things we have. I gotta get out of the turret. They have a little bit too much uh, CC. For me to get CC by the Blitz and then Yasuo underneath turret, that'd be bad. So we'll just go for Dragon and that's it. That's all they had in them. They do not want any more Belveth. If you guys enjoyed this Belveth video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.